All right, so example one, converting four yards to feet. And what I'm looking for is whether there is a fact about this unit and that unit being equal to each other in some way, shape, or form. And the fact we have is that one yard is equal to three feet. And again, everything involving this type of fact that you need for chapter 5-2 is located on page uh, 293. I literally have one question. So page 293 is where we're going to find all the information we need. So if one yard equals three feet, that gives me one of two unit multipliers. It's up to me to decide which one's more helpful. So either one yard over three feet or three feet over one yard. Okay. The power of these unit multipliers is that this thing is equal to one, even though it doesn't have, it has different numbers. It looks like one third. But the fact that one yard and three feet are equivalent measures, an equal measure over an equal measure reduces to the number one. So again, that's, that's the usefulness of this little fact. Just like three feet over one yard, same deal. Three feet and one yard are equal measures, so that equals one. Multiplying by one does not change value. So what we're in essence doing here is we're doing a little bit of plastic surgery on these numbers, on these things. It's going to look different, but it's going to be the same thing, all right? Just like People need plastic surgery, they look different, but they're the same person, right? So, I don't know if they act the same, but they're still the same person. So, and then if I, I take a look, I'm starting at, wherever you're starting at is, is what you're converting. So I'm converting four yards. Whatever I start with, four yards, I put that over the number one, just to establish position. The unit of yard lives in the numerator of this fraction. The number one is on the bottom just to create a denominator, so there's a numerator and denominator. It looks like a fraction. Whatever you're converting, always put it over one to start off with. Then you use one of these two in order to convert. And the way you decide which one to use is based on the position of the unit of yard. Currently, yard lives in the numerator. We need the one of these two that has yards in the denominator. This one's not helpful in this specific problem. If this said feet, feet on the bottom will be helpful. This would not be helpful. So again, you have two facts. One fact leads to two unit multipliers. Only one of those is helpful. The one with the unit in the correct spot to cancel. So I'm going to take three feet over one yard. <clears throat> and the unit of yard on top and bottom cancel, leaving with the unit of feet, which is what I'm looking for. And then if the numbers end up in the same location, both on top, you multiply. If one's on top, one's on bottom, you use tops divided by bottom. So in general, I've got a bunch of ones on the bottom, they don't do anything. So I just got my non-one numbers on top. So four times three is equal to 12. So the answer is 12 feet. Okay. And I'm aware that's somewhat basic. I think most of you probably knew it was 12 feet without me going through the process. Um, what math books always do is they take something you do in your head to teach you a technique so that when the problems become more challenging, you can't do them in your head anymore, you have the technique to fall back on. All right, so go through the process every time, the thinking process. You don't necessarily have to write the new multipliers out. You don't have to do this every time. But know that they came from this fact, and this fact creates a fraction like that. If you can build it without writing out both objects, that's fine with me. I would expect to see at least this much on your paper. All right. If you want to write the fact that you used on your paper also, that's fine. I, I can believe you looked at it in your book while you're doing it also, so that's fine with me. But I would expect to see at least this much on your paper where you started off, where you did the unit multiplier, carried out the math to get the answer. 